Hi, this is a quick unboxing and review of the Ishin Blade Y85 mini drone. Uh, the measurements of the drones are 197mm length, 168mm is the width, and 75mm is the height of the drone. Here is a quick view of the specification of the drone. If you'd like, you can just pause the video and have a look, and also include it in the description. So let's have a look on the drone, it came undamaged, you can see the design is very nice. On the front you have two LEDs that you can control uh, with clean flight, you can see the camera, USB on the side, and here you can see the, the uh, video transmitter connection which is SMA female, you can see the XT60 battery connector and the USB on the side. On the bottom you have the OSD connector which you can use to configure the OSD. There are also four pieces of foam, foam that we use as legs to soften the landing. On the rear of the drone we have three LED indicators that we can see in the bottom. In the kit there are four pairs of props included two red and two black, 40-45 propellers, we get in also a charger, the charger will suitable for 2 to 3S battery, we're getting a micro USB cable that we use to configure the drone through click flight, accessory bag which I'm going to review later, we're getting an SMA male antenna, right hand uh, polarized, we get a uh, camera mount with dampers, AC cable for the charger, a mount for the transmitter, radio transmitter, and a uh, 3 cells, a uh, 1300 uh, mAh 30C battery. Without any accessory the drone weighs 1225 grams, if you add the battery, it's 345 grams, and if you add all, almost all the accessories, it's 358 grams. This is the accessory bag, which I haven't opened before, so let's see what we have inside. We're getting the Minimo SD uh, FTDI adapter that you can use to flash the OSD. What you need to do is just insert it on the bottom, make sure you align it in the right direction. And then you just connect to USB and use a designated software to flash the firmware. Additionally, you're getting also a couple of zip ties which you can use to hold the uh, radio receiver, a double sided uh, double side foam, you're getting also LM keys. And you get in also this scotch which you can use to mount the receiver onto the body. Additionally, you get in a PPM cable that we're going to use to plug the PPM port and then to the receiver. On the right side is the PPM port, the radio port. And the left side is the GPS port, which you can use to mount an external GPS. In the attached booklet, you can see the configuration on how to configure, how to the diagrams, how to configure your transmitter. Just one thing to make sure is that it's the opposite, which means when it's black top in the booklet, it's actually the white top on the drone itself. On the left side, it's the PPM port, which is the same. The next step is to connect the red receiver. And just, you just have to plug the PPM cable into the receiver. And you can see once I will turn on the drone, you're gonna see that there is a connection between the receiver to the transmitter. 
you have to make sure that the remote is in PPM mode. So you have to go to the configuration, scroll down, output mode, and just use PPM. Otherwise, you won't be able to connect it properly to the drone. The next step will be to configure the drone in the CleanFlight program. Okay, so I went ahead and connected the drone to the CleanFlight program. What I recommend to do is just to back up the basic settings. So just press backup and save it wherever you would like. If you have any problem, you can just revert to this setting. After that, I suggest you just press the calibrating, uh, calibrate accelerant once the drone is on a uh, flat surface. This is a quick test that the uh, drone is working, responding to the redness signal, so I'm just moving along the sticks to see everything is okay. It's very important that if you're using PPM, just choose the RX PPM under the receiver mode. What I'm going to do next is calibrate the ECs. You have to make sure the, color of the battery is unplugged. And then press the understand the propellers are removed. Put the master all the way up. Then plug in your battery. You're going to hear the sound that start the calibrate procedure. Then just go all the way down and the calibration will be done once you hear the confirmation sound that you just hear. So as you can see, the drone is almost almost ready to fly. I've connected the receiver on top. Uh, it's tied with the zip tie. And the next thing we do, we're gonna do is just plug the propellers and it will be ready to go. In case you're not aware, this is the proper way to connect the propellers. So on the top right, it has to rotate counterclockwise, top left clockwise, clockwise on the bottom right and counterclockwise in the bottom left. The weight of the drone as it is ready to fly, including all the accessories, is 382 grams. Once the LED indicators are green, the charging is done. What I did next is just give it a quick test flight in the house. First, I connected my Petchar goggles to my TV just to show you how it looks on the screen. The quality is pretty good. The OSD is fantastic. It's very useful. You can see all the data on the bottom left. You can see the voltage. Bottom right, the time that we are flying. And you can see also the orientation of the drone. Here is a quick tour in my house, my very small house here in Tel Aviv. Done flying, you can see all the statistics on the screen. Okay. I'm not sure, now I'm going to be down here, that's the shape of it.